Ava, and today we are reading Trains by Gail Gibbons. And there are going to be lots and lots of trains in this book, so I want you to see how many you can find. All right, let's take a look. Trains. Many kinds of trains move along the tracks. Clickety clack. They are pulled by their powerful locomotives. The first locomotives were built about 150 years ago. The trains were pulled by steam engines. They used wood or coal for fuel. Today, some steam engines are still in use. There are also trains that have diesel engines and others that are run by electricity. They all run on railroad tracks. Passenger trains carry people through subway tunnels around cities and to nearby towns. Some passenger trains stop at railroad stations and carry people to faraway towns and cities. Passengers can eat, mmm, yummy, and sleep on the train. There are freight trains too. They carry heavy loads. Sometimes more than one engine is needing to pull a very long train. The cars are connected by couplers. Couplers hold cars together when one car is bumped into another. Pulling the uncoupling lever lets them come apart. Freight trains have lots of different cars. Flat cars haul many kinds of cargo. Refrigerator cars carry food that needs to be keep fresh. The hopper cars are hauling gravel and coal. The train stops. Grain is poured into the covered hopper cars. The train moves on. Piggyback cars carry truck trailers. Box cars and tank cars go by. The box cars are carrying furniture. The tank cars are carrying oil. These gondola cars are hauling scrap metal. The train stops. Grain is dumped from the covered hopper cars. The train moves on again. Three level rack cars roll by carrying shiny new cars. And at the end of the train is the caboose. The caboose is for the train crew. There are all kinds of trains. It is fun to watch them go by. Signs and signals. Some are for people driving cars or walking. This is a railroad crossing ahead sign. Here's a railroad crossing sign. Here's a railroad crossing sign with lights that flash when a train is coming. Here's another railroad crossing sign with lights and it has a gate that goes down when a train is coming. These are signals for the train. This is a speed sign for the train so it knows how fast to go. This is a station warning sign that tells the train where it is. And this is a light signal. Stop. Red means stop. Yellow means slow. And green means go. And these are other signal lights. The end. We saw freight trains and cargo trains and passenger trains and steam engines and electric trains. We saw so many trains. So today for our activity, we are going to be making our very own trains. I know, it's exciting. But we're going to be making a shape train. Hmm, yeah. Can you think of what shape a train is? Okay, so let's look at this picture here. This train has two long sides and two short sides. Can you think of what shape that is? 
Yeah, it's a rectangle. So we're gonna need a rectangle and maybe some circles for the wheels. Yeah, and a triangle for the front. So you can either cut those shapes out yourself or you can have a grown up print out this shape sheet that I made. And what you can do is you can color them in and cut them out. And then once you cut them out, you're gonna get another piece of paper and you can glue them or tape them into a shape of a train, just like teacher Ava did here. Look. That's my shape train. I have my rectangles and squares and circles. All right, now it's your turn to make your own shape train. So you can either use these shapes that I have or come up with your own shapes. And when you're all done, you can have a grown up send a picture to teacher Ava. I'm so excited to see your trains. All right, have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.